Alrighty guys, I'm not gonna lie, throughout this video I am a little bit distracted, but that is because I was watching season 4 finale of Vikings. Holy shit, what a season. Throughout this video you might see other reactions, but other than that, here you go, the video. Enjoy! Who wants to be king? short video on the look that I have right now it is as you can read from the title a get ready with me and I hope that you guys enjoyed it it is a little bit like here and there like I had no idea what I was gonna create in my eyeshadow but I came up with this it's very like fall-esque you know because of the colors but other than that I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys I'm going to be moisturizing my face with my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Since this is a cream, it is very thick, and if you have dry skin, I highly recommend it. I'm going to be moving on by priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Anti-Aging. This entire eyeshadow look is going to be done using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. First color that I'm going to be grabbing is just to highlight my upper brow bone and my eyelid. So it is going to be using the color Tempera with a flat tone brush. Moving on, I'm going to be using the color Raw Sienna. I'm pretty sure that's how it's called. And I'm going to be applying this with a large blending brush all over my crease. Using the same brush, I'm going to be grabbing now the color Burnt Orange. This is way darker orange than the first one that I grabbed, evidently as you guys can see. And this time I'm going to be blending this a little bit more higher, almost reaching the brow bone. When it comes to blending out your eyeshadows, you really have to take your time and you really have to be patient. For example, this is why I added this clip. This is a non-edited clip of how I actually blend. So I take my time and I really have to be patient for it to look nice. Now I'm grabbing the color Cypress Umber and with a very small, well not very small, with a smaller blending brush, I am going to be applying this exactly on my crease. I was going for like a cut crease, but not really. And this is just going to be adding a little color to the crease area. That is why I'm going to be grabbing now my larger blending brush and just blending the heck out of this color. And I would go between the larger blending brush and the smaller one to blend this eyeshadow out. And here I am just reapplying some of the first color that we applied Tempera because it might have faded a little bit. I'm going to be applying some liquid black eyeliner to create my wing. I really wanted this to be a really dramatic wing, which is why I did a really dramatic wing. But um, I don't know, there's just something so satisfying when I watch beauty like videos and I see like the whole process of doing the actual wing and it's so satisfying to me. So this is why I added it, you guys. So the next few steps, I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes with my Tarte Eyelash Curler. I'm going to be applying some of my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara to my upper lashes just for now. And then applying some black um, eyeliner to my upper waterline again just for now. Fucking way. He's not gonna kill him. Oh my god, he died before killing him. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, he doesn't even feel sorry. Fucking lunatic. Here I am just applying some lashes that I have cut in half just so they appear longer on the outer edge. 
So now is when I go back and I apply some of the black eyeliner to my lower lash line. Why did I wait, you ask? I have no idea. If you guys are interested, because I did keep this part, you know, a little, I, I sped it up a little bit too much because, you know, it's pretty redundant at this point. If you, at least if you've been here on this channel for a while, um, I did have a separate video that I made all about my foundation routine. If you're interested, it is the one up above and I also have it linked down below in the description. Also, for those of you that do not know, for your convenience, I always list down in the description all the products that I mentioned in this video and that I use. So for concealer, I am using my Maybelline Fit Me. I apply this under my eyes, on my nose, chin, forehead, and I just blend it out with my beauty blender and using my CoverGirl loose powder. I apply this all over my face to look exactly like this and I'm using my Kat Von D Shape Plus Light Palette and I'm grabbing the color, I don't know, the, it's like the medium brown and then I remove all of that loose powder just so I can finish off my eyes. So for my lower lash line I combine the colors Burnt Orange and Cypress Umber and then I finish off applying a little bit more mascara on the top so the lashes and my actual eyelashes combine and they don't peek through and then I finished off applying some mascara on my lower lashes and for lips I used oh no just kidding I finished off the face by using the naked flush palette in native I used the blush and the highlight and for lips I just used this little mini um, smashbox I don't remember the color to it but remember it is listed down in the description and guys that finishes off the look I love you guys and I will catch you guys in my next video.